Today we're diving into 50 tricky pharmacology facts you need to know before your exam. I'll pause briefly after each fact, but don't hesitate to pause the video if you need extra time. Let's get NCLEX ready. Statement 1. Loperamide is given to relieve the symptoms of diarrhea. Statement 2. Glucagon is given to reverse hypoglycemia. Blood glucose should be monitored. Statement 3. Hepatitis B vaccine is given in three doses to infants to prevent hepatitis B infection. Statement 4. Meloxicam is given to manage arthritis pain and inflammation, which does not require to be given with meals. Statement 5. Do not take MAOIs with fentanyl, which is given for moderate to severe pain relief. Statement 6. Withhold naproxen if the respiratory rate is less than 12 breaths per minute. Statement 7. Apply bleeding precaution with apixaban, which is given to prevent clot. Do not administer in situations with increased risk of bleeding. Statement 8. Heparin is given to prevent and treat deep vein thrombosis. It is also given for dialysis treatments to prevent clotting. Statement 9. Do not take gabapentin within 2 hours of taking antacids. Do not discontinue gabapentin therapy suddenly, which is given for seizures, management, and moderate to severe primary restless leg syndrome. Statement 10. If there is a rash noted in a pediatric patient, stop lamotrigine administration immediately, which is an anticonvulsant, and notify the healthcare provider as soon as possible. Statement 11. Calcium gluconate is the antidote for magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate can be given to treat eclampsia, which is an anticonvulsant. Blood pressure should be monitored with magnesium sulfate therapy. Statement 12. Lots of fluids should be encouraged when on valacyclovir therapy, which is an antiviral medication. Statement 13. Inform the healthcare provider if there is black tarry stools and monitor potassium with prednisolone administration, which is a corticosteroid. Statement 14. When taking lisinopril, which is an ACE inhibitor, do not take potassium supplement and potassium sparing diuretics. Statement 15. Low sardin is given to treat hypertension, but it should not be taken with grapefruit juice. Do not worry about taking it with meals. Statement 16. Ondansetron, given for nausea, can cause headache, dry mouth, and dizziness. Statement 17. Myotics constricts the pupils. There's an O in myotics and constricts. Statement 18. Mydriatics dilates the pupil. There's a D in mydriatics and dilates. Statement 19. Severe diarrhea should be reported with omeprazole therapy, which is a proton pump inhibitor. Statement 20. Do not take Tadalafil with nitrates, which can cause the blood pressure to fatally fall and cause a cardiovascular collapse. Statement 21. Tadalafil is given for erectile dysfunction treatment and benign prostatic hyperplasia. Statement 22. Nitrofurantoin is given for urinary tract infection treatment and can cause false positive glucose results in urine. Statement 23. Ginger is a herbal supplement that can increase the bleeding risk with anticoagulants. Ginger can be given to alleviate nausea and treat rheumatoid arthritis. Statement 24. Levothyroxine is given for hyperthyroidism management and should be taken on an empty stomach. Statement 25. Venlafaxine is an antidepressant that is taken with food and can cause an increased risk for suicidal thoughts. Great job! You just covered the first 25 pharmacology quick facts. 
Want to see how powerful our digital flashcards can be for your NCLEX prep? Grab your 160 free flashcards at cutienurses.com slash start and experience the difference. While you're here, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below to stay updated with our latest tips and insight. Now, let's dive into the next 25 pharmacology quick facts. Statement 26. Avoid grapefruit with calcium channel blockers. Statement 27. Cytolopram is an antidepressant that can cause serotonin syndrome. It may take up to four weeks for the full effectiveness of the antidepressant therapy to work. Statement 28. Lithium is a bipolar agent that should be taken with meal or else GI symptoms may occur. Statement 29, allopurinol is given to treat gout and should be taken with food. Statement 30, benztropine is an anti-Parkinson medication that can be crushed and mixed with food. Encourage the client to change positions slowly. Statement 31, solmitriptan is given for migraine. When taking this medication, avoid high tyramine food. Statement 32, latanoprost is given for glaucoma treatment and for ocular hypertension. Statement 33, disulfiram is given for alcoholism and may take several weeks for the full therapeutic effects to take place. Statement 34, minoxidil is given for alopecia treatment. Do not increase dosage as it will not increase how fast the hair will grow. Statement 35, loratadine is an antihistamine that should be taken on an empty stomach. Take it one hour before or two hours after a meal. Statement 36, vitamin K is the antidote for Coumadin, which is an anticoagulant. Statement 37, withhold digoxin if the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute and notify the healthcare provider. Statement 38, spironolactone is a potassium sparing diuretic that is given for an edema and hypertension. Monitor electrolytes and weight to determine therapy effectiveness. Statement 39, glimepiride is given to manage type 2 diabetes mellitus that should not be crushed or chewed. Sugar or glucagon should be nearby for potential hypoglycemia. Statement 40. Nicardipine is given to treat angina and hypertension should not be taken with grapefruit and should not be discontinued suddenly. Statement 41. Side effects of lactulose, which is a laxative, include gastrointestinal upset such as nausea, vomiting, and abdominal cramps. Monitor for potential hypernatremia. Statement 42. Metoclopramide is an antiemetic agent that can cause NMS, which is neuroleptic malignant syndrome, when used for a long period of time, such as three months. Statement 43. Alendronate is given for osteoporosis and Paget's disease which should be taken in the morning. Statement 44, administer diuretics in the morning to avoid having to wake up at night to urinate. Statement 45, repanfin, which is given to treat tuberculosis, can cause urine to have an orange color. Statement 46, do not give carbamazepine, which is given for seizures, nerve pain, and bipolar disorder, within 14 days of MAOI administration or within the first 14 days after discontinuing MAOI administration. Statement 47, amiodarone is an anti-arrhythmic agent that should not be double-dosed if missed. Statement 48, glucagon is an antidote for beta blocker overdose. Statement 49, Avoid potassium containing salt substitute with endomethacin therapy, which is an NSAID. Statement 50 Do not take valerian or barbiturate. 
Valerian is the herb supplement that is given for insomnia. Barbiturates are depressant drugs that are also used to aid in sleep. Congratulations on mastering all 50 pharmacology quick facts. Make sure you're confident with these before tackling your next pharmacology exam or the NCLEX. Want to make your nursing journey even more exciting? Don't miss my next video where we uncover essential nursing school hacks and tips to keep you ahead in the game. Thanks for dropping in and see you in the next video.